Welcome back to the channel. This is iDreams, and I wanted to thank you for taking some time out of your day to view this video. I just wanted to recap some of the recent news going on with Call of Duty. They have recently released their Road to Launch roadmap that's going to show us kind of what's going on uh, behind the scenes here, what they're planning on releasing and when, and uh, what we can expect to find out before launch in October. The first open beta uh, that we're going to have is a PlayStation exclusive. As you can see the graphic on the screen here, we're just going to kind of walk through the steps and do this really quickly for you guys. So for the first section here, we got the PlayStation exclusive, unfortunately, open beta, and that's beta weekend number one, this upcoming Thursday the 12th through Monday the 16th of September. Uh, hopefully what that means is that we'll be able to get in the game on Wednesday the 11th as they had with the alpha for early access for PlayStation. They opened it up early due to the servers being live and people being able to preload the game. It does depend on how they patch the game, uh, but we should be able to get in early. Hopefully I'll have some content on that and let you guys know if we are able to get in on the 11th early, uh, we'll be able to do that together here. Super excited to get some actual footage of the larger modes all the way up to potentially the 50v50. We'll see how everything works, but I am excited to get into some of the bigger maps. I did love the alpha, just to give you a heads up on what I'm, I'm feeling about that. I do have another video that you can check out on my full alpha impressions, but it will be so cool to mess around with the gunsmith see all the big maps, see how the big modes work, see anything new that we haven't seen previously, including the guns, perks, gunsmith again. I'm going to make some more videos on this stuff, uh, including more details on these crossplay um, reveal event that's coming up on the week of September 16th to move into the next part of this roadmap. We will be getting crossplay details. Um, I will have a short video of what I believe and what they have released on crossplay so far, and then I will be updating that with um, new details as of the 16th, if anything is unexpected or out of the ordinary with that. What I am basically expecting is we will be able to crossplay with consoles and PC. Um, it does heavily depend on your input method. If you are on a controller, it's going to try to pair you with controller players. If you are on a mouse and keyboard, it's going to try to pair you with a mouse and keyboard player. That means it doesn't matter what you're on, console, PC, it's going to try to get you into a lobby that is um, from a pool that is combined based on input methods. And we'll see how that works out. Uh, but I don't think it's a hard lock thing. So if the game's population goes down, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, moving into the next section, finally a crossplay open beta. We'll actually see how their crossplay details work. And that's actually going to be uh, next weekend, the 19th through the 23rd. I am super excited to get everybody who has a PC, console, whatever, to be able to get in and play the game. Now, those of you with pre-orders will be able to play starting on the 19th of September, which is going to be, uh, again, a Thursday. So we'll probably see early access on a Wednesday due to the preloads. And then we'll be able to play all the way through the 23rd, which is a Monday. Uh, looking Really, really looking forward to seeing that, seeing how the crossplay works in live action. Um, I, w I was really impressed with the mouse and keyboard controls. Uh, I'm going to try to mainly play this on PC, but I'm going to buy it on both uh, just because PlayStation unfortunately gets that exclusive content earlier. And then moving on to the campaign premiere, we're supposed to see that by the end of September. So I actually expect that to line up with the next weekend, um, probably at, at some point on the 24th of September. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if that got pushed back to the 27th or even later to possibly the 30th that uh, last Monday and last day of the month. Uh, we'll see what the campaign's like. I'm excited for Captain Price, Gaz, and all the guys to come back. So um, we'll see who, who's gonna be in the game, what we can expect from the campaign, and kind of what the driving force is. I'm also excited to see 
as I expect, what the press saw behind closed doors back in May that had everyone so riled up and excited at the same time. Uh, I think they'll show us the same thing, so they're not spoiling too much of the story. But it sounds like it's going to be epic. Sounds like it's going to be no Russian on a large scale. From the way everyone talks about it, it sounds very, very exciting. And finally, we're going to get the Spec Ops premiere, Special Ops premiere, week of October 7th. Um, so we're going to see that at some point then, between the 7th and the 11th, I would imagine. I'm excited to get in with my buddies. That was a huge thing for Modern Warfare 2, and I had a lot of fun playing with my friends. So I am excited to see what they got going on. It's supposed to be a kind of living story, so we'll get, uh, we'll get more uh, expansions essentially moving on uh, from launch here. So we start out with a set amount of missions is what I'm expecting and then we will expand into more content as time goes on and the devs support the game. We'll have to see what their plan is and I'm super excited for it. As always, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like or dislike the video, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna see more content just like this. Please feel free to leave me a comment on how I can improve or with questions and your thoughts on the video and the channel in general. Let's create a dialogue in the comments below. This has been iDreams, signing off. Peace out.